nice little neighbours. Oh, fucking everywhere. <laughs> Monday morning. Um, me and the old man are just conquering a few posts in here for strainers. Um, put a few gateways in where I bought this farm or when we originally bought it. It's sort of been a bit of a pain because you can't get sheep through easy. So we've had to uh, put a few gateways in. So yeah, this is all we do. Sort of mix them up and put a steel stay on there. And yeah, it's pretty agricultural, but I like to concrete me strainers in. Um, I like concrete posts because they seem to hold up out here where, yeah, those banging ones, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of them. But yeah, it's just the worst part about it is it takes all day to put 10 posts in, but that's all right. They're there for a long time, so me and Maeve on the job. Say hello. Found half a cocky, but nah, I don't know, we'll go and do a bit more. Yeah, that's the setup. Yeah, get through these post holes. Um, well, they probably got three to go, so just run out of gravel. We just use wash gravel. Probably not all ideal, but it seems to work. Uh, yeah, just concrete them in and put a stay in there. We sort of hit a steel post at the end and then concrete in that as well, so I don't seem to come out, which is pretty good. So yeah, the old man's going to get some more gravel and then I'll uh, tip this one in. Thought I'd take, I've got a bit of emulsion working here in the paddock at the moment, so I thought I'd take a bit of a video of it. It's a pretty nice machine, pretty new, so she's a bit dusty today. He's doing a good job of it. So yeah, as you can see, this is the sort of straw length like up sort of there to my leg where yeah, he's mulching it down to nothing now. So I'll sort of just do that so I can sew straight into it uh, without burning or anything like that. Um, look, I probably could have got through this stubble with me cedar, but I thought oh, we'll just mulch it just in case if it does get wet and have a bit of trouble with bridging in the bar. So. Yeah, uh, he only just bought this mulcher, so it's a good little one. It's like 25 foot, perfect. 
perfect for uh, what I need. Yeah, so Rod's just doing it on a contract and doing a great job. So He's nearly actually finished. He's done uh, a uh, paddock of wheat, another paddock of wheat stubble and a paddock of barley stubble. So yeah, the beans will go in the barley stubble and then um, I'll put barley on these wheat stubbles. So yeah, I've just come back to give him a hand to shift. So I thought I'd get some video of it coming down. So but yeah, we'll take another video of it coming. Um, yeah, just gonna uh, just got my merino lambs in today. Gonna give them a drench. Hopefully the dog plays the game. Sid, here, give me a. Yeah, I think there's about. It should be around 600 here. So we'll soon find out. But sunscreen on the face, and hopefully this dog doesn't put them over the fence, and we'll be all good. Sid, Sid here. Sid, Sid, easy. See what happens here. I've got this clover out here, so I'm going to uh, drench him and put him on that. Sid, sit down. As long as this dog doesn't put him over the fence, like I said, we'll be right. Sit down. Probably should have checked that gate. Surely they won't. We'll just stand here in the corner. Push him up, mate. Push him up. Ah! Cut, cut, cut!
do for now. We'll push these into here. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, get out. Find your muzzle, I think. Make it stay in there. Get some more here. Go back. So yeah, that's, well yeah, sort of just do it that way so they sort of keep ringing around and then I'll just try and wrench these out into that pen there, then I'll just let them out into the paddock. Um, yeah, it's usually one shot, if the sheep run, they can run to sheep there, so I'll keep them there as long as I can. So yeah, we'll to get into it. So yeah, they're all drenched now. Um, oh, there's a few with a bit of dry sh shit stains on them, but I think they'll be all right. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to get them on this paddock of clover I've got here. Um, I've been meaning to get them drenched now for a while, so I just haven't had time. So I'll just open the gates here. This seems to be the best way to do it. I'll see if I can set this up where we can just let them in.
Wednesday. So yeah, usually, obviously, put these all the lambs in the paddock here. This is the first time they've been in this paddock, so I'll push them to the dam. So, keep it off before it gets too 